What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode today. As you may can see, we are out at the chicken pen. See all those chickens? See all those nice chickens over there? Well, the thing is, so you see, in the chicken pen you have chickens. Inside of the chickens you have, well sometimes you have chicken eggs. And then what happens when the chicken eggs poop those, your wait, the chickens poop those chicken eggs out? I come get the eggs. You see, that has not been happening. Something has been getting the eggs, cracking them, and eating them. That It's not a snake, because then the whole egg would just be gone missing. But, something's out here. We got four red chickens, one checkered chicken, and a rooster. So, we had six, or no, five red ones at the start, and now we only have four. So, that's not good. We have... Well, we need to get rid of whatever is eating our eggs and chickens. Traps. So, we are going to be setting a couple of these out today. We got four of them. And then, of course, you know, we got the dog food and we got the syrup. But, we're going to be setting them out in the woods behind the chicken pen, around the chicken pen, just so that way we can catch any predator trying to, or coon or possum trying to get in there. And get mess with those chickens or the chicken eggs because those chicken eggs are pretty pretty tasty we're gonna get started setting these out i'm gonna show y'all how i set them out what i do how i rig those up and all that good stuff but we've got four of them hopefully we'll catch five or i can't talk four coons or four possums or two coons and two possums or three coons and one possum you get it you get the idea but we're going to try to protect these chickens the best we can so we're going to get started setting these traps out Okay guys, so here is the first trap location. We've got a little trail running right through here and then we get this nice tree right here that we're gonna use to put this dog proof trap on. And then we've got a creek running right through here so we're probably gonna put, I brought two traps back here to put in behind the chicken pen then we're gonna put two up by the chicken pen. But we're probably gonna put one on the creek and one on the trail next to the creek. So, but we're gonna, so you just do that. There's setters for this and stuff you can, buy them and it makes it easier but you know I'm cheap so uh, but here's how I rig them up I got just a little on these little latches and I just flip it around the tree like that flip it too and now that, that thing ain't going nowhere so you got that set put that in the ground and you can use cat food or dog food or whatever you want to make to build your own uh, bait for coon traps but I just I filled that up too much don't fill it up all the way sprinkle some out around it so that way they'll have something to key in on then you just dribble some of that on it put it around it and there we go see how quick I did that but we're gonna set this other one out set two more out but this one looks like a pretty good little trail coming right through here Let's hope we can get one in this set. Okay guys, so now, right now we're down in the creek. The creek doesn't have any water in it, so I guess that's good. For, they're able to travel it better. So I'd figure they'd be down in here for some of the way up to the chicken coop. Dang, these things. Some of them, once they get used a lot, they get rusty. But I'm sure there's something you can do to pre prevent that from happening. Some of them are quick and easy like that last one. And then some of them it takes you a couple tries to get it. Dang, there we go. Okay. Maybe I got it now. Okay, so just do the same thing we did with that last one. We're just gonna put this one on this little tree right here on the creek 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 bank. So just stick it down as far as you can into that into the creek because they're gonna be traveling right down here along the edges of the creek and just pour you some dog food in there sprinkle some around and then get your syrup or fish oil or whatever you want to use put it all over put it on the trap do whatever you need to get those coons to come in. Okay guys, here's our last trap to set of the day. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty easy one to set. 
on like one of those. One of them was pretty tough. But uh, we got this trail run right through here and our chicken coop is right back there. I bet you can see it in the frame probably. But let's just wrap it around. This is a little bigger tree for, for these at least. So, I mean, you can always wrap it to the, clip it to the chain or whatever you need to do. But stick that in the ground. Get your dog food again. Pour that in the trap. If you spill some, it's fine. It's good to spill some. So, get your syrup. And hopefully this chicken that got out somehow won't come eat all this dog food over here. We need to get her back in the pen. But we are going to let these sit out overnight. Uh, it's about... It's like 11 something right now. So we're going to let them sit out overnight. We'll come check them in the morning. And hopefully we got a cocoon or something like a possum in there. But I'm pretty confident that we will. Okay guys, so it is the next morning. We are up. It's cold right now. That's why I've got a hoodie on and a big jacket over it. But we are walking up to the first trap. We're going to check them from inside out. So this closest one is the one we're going to check first. See nothing. Unless it's, oh, we got something. We got something. We got us an old, an old possum. An old possum in the first one. I'll turn this around for you. I'll show you all the trap circle because that's pretty cool. So there he is, right there. Got his arm in the trap right there. And then you can see where he's been running around the tree right there. But that's one down. We are going to, uh, you know, exterminate him. Because we don't want... I bet that's who's been getting in the chicken pen. Because raccoons, if they'd been getting in there, they'd been getting the chickens and stuff. But if we get to raccoon, that's a plus two. So we're going to get rid of that guy and go check the rest of the traps. Okay, guys. So we're in the woods now. Walking up to the second trap. And we got us another possum. Wow, the possums are just... Loving it today. It's a black possum. Thought it was a coon at first, to be honest. See him? He's not quite as big as the other one, but he's got his own little trap circle. So, guess this is a good spot to set out a trap. But we're gonna get that guy. Pew pew, you know, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But, and then we're gonna get on checking the other two traps. So that's two for two. That's pretty good. Uh, I guess they were moving around last night, but who knows? We could have nothing in the next two. Let's hope we do. I bet if we have something in the next two, it's going to be a coon, though. So that's what, that's what I'm kind of hoping for. Here are the finished products, guys. There's a, the black ones, the smaller one, and then the lighter colored one's the bigger one. That one's a pretty big one. It's a male. Uh, I, I tried to cover up their faces the best I could, but uh, that's going to be it for today. Two coons, first time setting traps this year, so that's eh, I mean eh, but I think those were probably the things that were getting our chicken eggs, so we should be up in chicken number or chicken egg numbers, so that's good. But thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and if you comment what type of video you see, you want to see. I'm trying to work on some hunting videos, trying to work on some fishing videos, but just let me know down in the comments. But thank you all so much for watching, and we will see y'all next time.